What if I told you there's one app that can organize your entire life, your meetings, your ideas, even your personal goals? Stick around because I'm going to show you how Microsoft OneNote can transform the way you capture and manage all your information. I still remember when I first started work 30 plus years ago, every one of our, us, right, the executive, we have our own big filing cabinet. Yeah. So if you look at those that have more filing cabinets, it means that they are higher in rank. Maybe they are supervisors or the managers, right? And managers easily, they have like big cabinets and uh, file cabinets, you see. And inside that, there are actually like dividers. And uh, if you go to a doctor previously, I mean, you can see those like square uh, cupboard or cabinets filled with cards, right? Information where I work, it all filled with files, right? Now, today I'm going to show you this OneNote app itself. Basically, this OneNote app can store all the information. You do not need to have big filing cabinets anymore. All the information you can keep inside this OneNote app. So this is what I call, it is my digital filing cabinet, right? Now, the benefits of this is that it helped me to centralize all my notes. Now, not just like text notes or written notes. It's today we store all like multimedia notes, like pictures, okay? Even videos, right? You can store in one location. Now, you don't have to search for meeting minutes and agenda yeah, in emails where you can actually pull in all this information from your Outlook calendar into this OneNote because OneNote belongs to Microsoft and it actually links to all the Microsoft products. Like even you can insert an Excel here as well. Yeah? Now, you can also use OneNote to manage your projects, okay? I'll show you in my previous videos on how to, to manage your projects and uh, using a template, yeah? That you can work with your, your team members. You see, even Microsoft Teams, you can collaborate using your OneNote inside your Microsoft Teams. Now, it is also very powerful where you can bring down all your information for you and your team inside here. Later, I'll show you how to do that. And for me, I also use this to do my journal. I used to do that in the app called Notion. I find that actually I just need a simple uh, apps to actually record down my journals, right? My thoughts, my uh, gratitude notes, and, and so on. Now, the good thing is one note here, it can sync to all your devices, not only in the Windows environment, it can sync to Apple or Mac or your iPhone as well, yeah? Now, the best use of all is, of course, this is free to use, yeah? So, try it out, okay? Now, if you haven't start using OneNote, this is how you're going to organize. Right now, you can see I'm at my OneNote over here. So if you want to start a workbook, all this is my notebook, okay? So I have my journals right over here. These are all my journals. And then this is my work notebook. I keep all the stuff right over here. So I'm going to show you here. This is a work demo, right? This is a demo for me to play around and show you how it is. Just, this is a notebook. All you need is just go click File New and then you can create a notebook. So I already created this notebook, okay? So work demo is a notebook. Now you can go in and then you can right, set up what we call sections. These are all sections. So all you need is here, you can click a new section. All right, let's say a temporary section. You can call any names you want. And then you have a section and you can have a section group and you can also change the color, right? So, okay, so this is a section. And then inside here, Later, I'll teach you how to organize it, okay? And this is a section. Under each section, you can see these are all pages. Well, so over here, I can create extra page. Yeah, so this is just a demo. I can create page, and then I can insert all these things right over here. You can insert table, file printout, meaning that if you have PDF, you can actually insert a PDF with the file printout. It means that you can see the internal inside the file itself not just one icon right in case you can also insert spreadsheet like i told you yeah and then uh, of course pictures 
and you have uh, page templates. Now you want to learn more about page templates and go watch my other videos on how to create page templates. Okay. Now you can insert all these other things, right? Now, of course, if you have a paid or business version, you can insert your loop components. Okay. And uh, let's look at here now. If you like to draw, you can also draw right over here. Right, you can here you can draw anything you want, right? Now the best if you have tablet, I like to write on my tablet. Then it's it's easy, okay? If you have pen, then you can just rub it off, okay? And then uh, of course, then you can format the background. You want a background like this or grid? You can just change it, right? As per your own liking. All right, now. And you can see there are a lot of other things yeah, over here. Now, if you do not like this style right over here, my, this is my preference, right? You can change the tabs layout yeah, to horizontal tabs. Horizontal tabs will look like this. Okay, so all your so-called pages are right over here. Now your pages, you can drag up and down to sort it. Okay, and then your section will be on top right over here. Some people prefer this way, okay? And all your notebooks will be in here. So separately, yeah. Now, so because I got a white screen, so I prefer to have everything in one look. So this is what I like. Now, if you don't like this, okay, I can just close it, right? And then if I need it, yeah. So because I used to work across multiple uh, notebook, man, I prefer to have it shown right over here. Yeah, so... This is how it looks like, okay? And then, uh, just like over here, this is an uh, insert. So let me clear out the raw, okay? Select back here. So this is a pictures, hurry insert. You can drag it out over here. You can track it anywhere you want, right? It's, it's, it's like a blank canvas or blank sheet of paper. You can change all the location, yeah? All right, any place you want, okay? so. This is how you basically the basic function of of OneNote. Now, of course, you can have shapes and, and all those stuff, right? Now, the most important thing is how do you want to organize your notes? You don't want to dump everything or all the junk inside your cabinet and then later you can't find the things that you want. So for me, okay, the best is that if you do not have a structure, you can follow this structure. I'm using a so-called this para method. Yeah? Prime method is started by this Diago Forte, yeah? it, which is called the second brain. And so he have this P-A-R-A, -A, projects, areas, resources, archives. So you can see here, it's organized such a way, right? Project, area, resources, and okay, let me take, delete this, this one, I just add it, okay? Let's delete it off, yeah? P-A-R-A, -A, right? Now, so archive, this is a, New section, you can have a new section group. Okay. So, sorry, let me just take this off. Yeah, this is a group. Okay. So, what it means is anything related to project, you can dump it right over here. Right. Areas is the area that is your responsibilities or of your interests. Resources are more on references. Okay. Like notes, SOPs, and, and so on. Archive are the old stuff that you do not want. Then you move it over here to keep it, right? So you keep your, all this area, yeah, clean, right? With those active things or active nodes that you'll be using. So it speed up all your searching, right? Of course, if you want to search better and then learn how to use all these tags, yeah? Now just go to my channel, then I'll show you how to use all these tags, okay? And what are the quick keys? So I use a lot on project management. You can see that here, you got plan, in progress, done. It may be different from the, yours because this is already customized. So go watch my other videos there. I teach you how to customize all that, yeah? Now, so parameter. Now, I insert extra like inbox and meeting, okay? So you can see over here, this is my actual uh, working Notebook, right? You got inbox, meetings, project areas, and, and so on, right? Okay. And so in inbox, meaning that in my mobile, right? I set this inbox 
as my default. So anytime when I turn on a new node, automatically it goes into the inbox. Yeah. So my practice is very simple. Anything that I want to, I don't want to know which one to, to file it, right? So I will just dump everything inside inbox. Okay. Then later on, I will organize the nodes. Then I will move it to the right place. So in the inbox, it's very simple how to organize, right? If it is this demo supposed to be in the meeting right over here, you just drag and drop it right over here. You can see here, it goes into here and then you can move it up and down as you want. Yeah. Now, of course, you can create subset of a page as well. This is a subset of a page. Yeah. So all the nodes will go inside the inbox. Then later you can organize as per what you like, right? So I follow this basically. I mean, if you do not have any structure, try this and then improvise it as per your, your requirement, right? Because you may have different situations, yeah? So projects means anything related to projects. Areas are areas that you are responsible or you have uh, interest in. Resources are normally like references and so on. And archives are the old one, okay? That you do not, you, I mean, it's slow moving or inactive, right? But you do not want to delete it, then you keep it inside your archive. So this is how you organize your OneNote. I hope I give you a whole structure how to start using OneNote, right? And uh, go try it out. And if you have any questions, do leave a comment right below. Yeah. Then I will try to create a new uh, video to show you all. There are some videos already there. And then I will answer you and direct you to that video. Okay. So I hope you like these uh, apps and uh, you find this helpful. Do share this with your friend or colleagues, okay? So that they will benefit you from this as well. By the way, I'm Andrew. And if you like this type of productivity uh, videos, do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content, you'll be notified. I'll see you real soon in my next video.